Hi, I'm Bob. Today we will explore the descriptive statistics of the panel data. The panel data structure is more complex than cross-sectional or time series, so the descriptive statistics may be challenging to understand. Let's use the long-form panel data set we saved last time to illustrate panel data's basic concepts and features. You can also download the dataset from the link below. The dataset contains multiple observations of US workers from 2010 to 2018. First, let's set the panel data by typing xtset, followed by the panel variable id and the time variable year. The command xt describe tells us about the patterns of the panel data. We see that it is a balanced panel data set. There were 4,586 workers in the data over five time periods. The distribution of t underscore i tells us all workers are observed for five time periods. Next, we see the patterns of the data. Since it is a balanced data set, all workers have five observations. By contrast, the variable log wage rate has missing values. When we use the log wage rate in the regression models, the sample becomes unbalanced. Let's take a look at the pattern of the sample. We type xt describe if log wage is not equal to missing. Now the dataset is unbalanced. The number of workers reduces to 4,411 with a maximum of five time periods. More than 75% of the workers are observed five times. The pattern of the data shows that 3,341 workers have complete observations. 155 workers lack the log wage data for the first time period. We also see the other patterns, but the first pattern dominates. Next, let's examine the summary statistics of the panel data. Panel data have two dimensions, across individuals and over time. An essential feature of the panel data is the between variation and the within variation. For example, the variation in the wage rate could be due to the variation between workers and the variation within each worker. That is, there are two sources of variation. When we focus on the changes for a particular worker over time, we mean the within variation. When we compare between different workers, we talk about the between variation. Look at this sample. We have three workers and their hourly wages for 2010 and 2012. It is a panel data structure. The overall mean is just the mean of all observations. It is 13.5. The overall standard deviation is 4.14. In order to know how the data vary between individuals, we calculate the individual level mean which is the average wage across time for each worker. The mean of the individual level average wage is 13.5, and the standard deviation is 4.33. To compute the within statistics, we calculate the difference between the worker's actual wage and the worker's average wage. These are the within variations for each worker. The mean is zero, and the standard deviation is 1.45. Stata adds the overall mean to the within variations so that the mean of within variations is also 13.5. It guarantees that the overall mean, the individual mean, and the within mean are the same. The stata command xtsum automatically computes all the statistics for us. 
we type xt sum wage rate. Here we are. There are 22,930 observations for 4,586 individuals over five time periods. The overall average hourly wage is 22.6. The overall standard deviation is 26. The minimum hourly wage is zero because some are unemployed. The maximum is 973. The between standard deviation is 21.6 with a minimum hourly wage of zero and a maximum of 411. The within standard deviation is 14.6, with a minimum of minus 304 and a maximum of 669. Remember, Stata adds the overall mean to the actual within variation, so we need to subtract the overall mean to get the actual within changes from the individual level average we can see that the between variation is larger than the within variation for the hourly wage. We can also XT sum log wage. It is unbalanced. There were 19,951 observations for 4,411 workers. On average, a worker is observed 4.5 times. The within standard deviation informs us whether the variable is time-varying or time-invariant. The above two variables are time-varying variables. They change over time. We can try XT sum schooling. The within standard deviation is zero because the educational attainment for each worker is constant over time. We can also use the XT tab command to explore the dynamics of the categorical or dummy variables. Let's type xt tab Julian. We see a table with three parts. The overall part of the table summarizes the overall observations. There were 16,519 total observations. In 14.4% of the observations, workers reported a Julian contract covered their jobs. In 85.6% of the observations, workers reported their jobs were not covered by a union contract. The between part of the table focuses on the individuals. 801 workers once reported they were union members. 3,734 workers reported they were not union members at least once. Some workers were union members in a year and not in another year, so they will be tabulated twice. That is why the total amount of workers, 4,535, exceeds the actual number of workers, 4,091. The within tabulation tells us that if we observed a worker is not a union member, they will remain outside the union for 95% of the time we observe them. If they are union members, they remain union members 70% of the time. Today, we have used xt-describe, xt-sum, and xt-tab commands in Stata to obtain the descriptive statistics of the panel data, which is an essential component of the data analysis. We will discuss three estimation methods of panel data next time. Thank you for watching this video.